Welcome back to my channel. My name is Cornelia, but you can call me Corny, and my channel is Cornico. Basically, what I like to do here is share my life and experiences and travel throughout Japan and show the culture and stuff like that, and other random stuff that kind of like don't have anything to do with Japan too. My space is a happy space. I kind of felt a little bit guilty, even though you see, you know, my reactions, my personality, and my real life. It's not all candy floss and smiles and sunshine. I really think that it's my duty to kind of talk about these real things like there are other things that you may have to deal with sorry if you guys are like I already know this dare corny but some people just don't really think about it so this is for you guys think of it as like a therapy session not a bashing session but like a therapy session where we can discuss like the, the struggles of living living in Japan I will say that I've been very blessed to not receive like anything that's made me feel like like I'm leaving the country, I hate this place. Like I've never had that kind of experience as yet. I wanna start this off on a very good note and just say there are so many things in Japan that I adore. It's safe, the food is bar, there's a lot of fascinating things to see and do. People are very polite, the customer service is good, the cleanliness of Japan is just impeccable, the architecture, I love how they make things for specific needs and everything is so well thought out the train slash tram subway systems how efficiently they usually run there's so many great things about japan i could list more but let's get into the nitty gritty guys so this one is a huge one for me try and get your finances straight because um after the first year there's things that will start to pile up like your health insurance, residence tax, income tax, pension and you've got other things on top of that like um, your electricity, your gas, uh, your water and the rent and you know maybe your phone bill, maybe your internet bill. These are finances that really pile up and after your first year that's when the tax really kicks in going into your second year that's like a full year of tax so you'll start to feel it as it's coming out a lot of people here have about two or three jobs at least two jobs unless they're married and got some kind of spouse or family member someone living here somebody to depend on unless you're sharing a house or sharing a space where like uh, the rent is cut in half it can be quite costly living here so I think a lot of people in America have to pay these extra fees for things um, but I'm from England and we have the NHS we have a lot of things for free healthcare is free and we also have the option we don't have to pay pension we can pay pension and here it's kind of like mandatory and it can cost a lot guys like from 18,000 to 30,000 like it's crazy crazy money per month a lot of people ask me if they can save too you can save but you're probably gonna have to work a little bit harder to do that and if you actually want to have a life as well and travel around and eat stuff and do the things that I do and you know just live your best life it costs money to get to these places like I've already done the cost of like my rent a lot of people say it's pretty cheap but there's other finances on top of that that you've got to think about this is a very hard working culture be aware there might be a lot of rules that you don't agree with but you just have to suck it up and do it or at least not get caught <laughs> I didn't say that or you might get your ass deported even though it's a super safe country and um, there's not very much crime here so you can walk the streets at night and feel all right I'm paranoid as hell so I don't trust nobody I don't care who you are like people wear faces no matter where you go and I am looking at you sideways at night time I'm like don't I don't care if you're old granny and you're 60 years old you ain't coming near me you could just shank me and just think, oh, I'm a sweet little lady. People are psycho, man. I ain't doing it. But anyway, like, yeah, trust nobody. <laughs> it's safe, but trust nobody. Just keep your wits about you at all times. I just feel foreigners aren't as protected here. Well, people in general, I hear people have been like molested or things have happened and the, the, the victims kind of just lose out. I just feel like people sometimes get away a lot easier with committing crimes here it's kind of nuts the sense of justice is a little bit warped here I'm not gonna lie so I always make sure that I'm doing things within the rules and I don't want to get myself into a situation where I've got no one to back me up because I, I think from day to day I'm like what about if someone was to attack me like what could anyone really do if I was assaulted what would they do for me so I don't trust that system and that's kind of scary for me you know kind of an issue don't get caught up in some mess be in your best behavior and you should be fine but just know if ish hits the fan like you, you might just, ha just have some little money to just 
get your ass out of the country quick time. I'm not actually, I'm not even joking actually. This is a sad thing. I'm like laughing, but I'm not joking. Like have some emergency money put aside because you never know what might go down. Know where your embassy is or your consulate or whatever, just in case. I don't even know if like some of them can do something, but boy like the way that things are happening here like you never know i think you should be prepared for like discrimination prejudice uh sexism racism xenophobia like there are slight issues of colorism here i'm not gonna lie or filter it to you guys um you know from the moment that you go into shops like drug stores and you see skin brightening bleach and whatever you want to call it lightning cream and you've got people in the media like mocking other people saying that they should bleach their skin um that just shows that there's still a huge problem here um and people wear parasols not always for health guys some of them do it because they don't want to get any darker they want to keep their skin fair so depending on what race or color you are how dark you are you may have a different experience there's certain rules and mannerisms here that you might not pick up on straight away but in order to work in harmony and this place is very much about fitting into the system and having harmony um it's kind of important to learn these things if your cultural background is different and your skin is different and your heritage is different you're never gonna completely fit into society not saying that you'll always feel out of place maybe there's people out there that feel like completely 100 percent content and that is fine that's great but just know you'll never be the same and that is okay that's another message i want to send it's okay to be different embrace your difference and your uniqueness you know because if you don't love yourself what is the freaking point in life what is the point if you don't like who you are everybody coming to japan you are a representation of your culture your race your sex uh of uh your country like these are all things that people will be watching you and looking to you for that information when you're surrounded by people that all kind of like look the same dress the same do the kind same similar things not saying everybody is the same but uh the culture is very much like people like to fit in and if you stand out it's like there's a problem i don't want to look like anyone else i just want to do what feels right for me because it's a sad life if you're just pretending to fit in or pretending to be like something that you're not i have mentioned briefly before about being stared at and um people kind of being scared to approach me or not wanting to sit next to me on the train i have had that not very often i think i've had it about twice or something like that the stares always happen um but i just say i'm pretty <laughs> self affirmations anybody i'm not gonna say who but i had a friend who came here and had mental health issues and um, this person absolutely adored japan and really wanted to come and experience it um but they just couldn't hack it because they didn't have the right kind of um medication here a support system so i've really researched like what is foreigner friendly like can i communicate can i understand what you're saying um you know if i'm dying or like something's wrong with me seriously wrong can i understand is the service good enough that i, I know what i'm doing i know what's happening um so really look into that like health where are you gonna go to get this um kind of treatment i've got a nice little setup now i've been to some <laughs> some doctors that don't know what they're doing okay i've been to a doctor that that came out with the came out with like these tools you know like a little toolkit i guess when you have the hammer in the i don't know but it was for doctors and he rolled it out on the table and then he, he was just so old school and he was like looking in my mouth and he was like tapping my knee and like to check my reflex and i was like what is this and then i saw i looked to my right and i saw like these old I don't know what the hell they were but they were sharp okay like some crazy old school utensils like in the tray thing looked like he was gonna go to surgery on me and I was like what is he gonna do right now and when he was trying to communicate with me like he was looking through the dictionary and I was like for god's sakes I do not need to be here he was super friendly and all but like I think some of the healthcare here is outdated so just make sure you look into somewhere that's kind of up to date with technology don't do some old school ish and can communicate with you that the way that you need in order to do and uh, uh, what you need to do because health is so serious you know people are healthy here but like you need to know please pay your health insurance it it does help and you can always claim your tax back um for certain things um at the end of the tax year medication isn't as strong at least for me it's not as strong as england so um i get a lot of things sent here imported stuff from home and um, so if you have people at home it's always a good thing to have because some of the things just don't cut it here other things that you might already know 
accommodation. Make sure that it's built out of sturdy material because you don't want your house falling down because earthquakes do happen, it's real. And there's a lot of environmental changes that happen here in Japan. So don't be shocked when your, your roof starts shaking or something, I don't know. But like, just look into that. The walls are super thin. If somebody was here right now, which they're not, but if they were, they could hear every single thing that I'm saying and vice versa. I've heard them having sex before. It's ridiculous. Walls are thin. You already know guys, if you checked out my video about apartments, mine in particular is very super small. Yes, it looks bigger in the video because of the lens that I'm using, but it's actually quite tiny. It's cute though, but tiny. So be prepared, less space. So if you're the type of person to get claustrophobic and feel like uh, suffocated, um, just know this is not gonna be <laughs> a pleasant experience unless you got that cashola and you can like get something bigger. If you're a good bargain hunt hunter and if you do speak Japanese, uh, I think that you can access a lot more and find better deals. But there are some things that you just can't avoid that will be more expensive. I told you before, the fruit. The fruit, I love fruit, man. But there's certain things that you just you just can't bring yourself to buy because it it's ridiculous prices. You wanna buy a piece of fruit and it's gonna cost you 300 yen. You're like, what the? <laughs> what? There's a shift in expenses of things where for Asian cuisine, you're gonna pay more money in a Western country such as England. But when it comes to fruit, it's cheap as chips. Oh, if you don't know that saying, it just means that it's really cheap because uh, like a bag of chips is like one pound something, which is a hundred yen, which is like one dollar. Chips isn't crisps, it's fries, but chunky fries are chips. Fries are fries, they're thin fries, like McDonald's fries. Do you know what? Sometimes I feel like I have to translate myself like American language Cornelia and then there's the British language Cornelia and at school I have to do the American language and sometimes I flip and I flop and I'm like, did I use the right spelling? I forgot. Cheapest chips. Hope you get it. Online will be your best friend at some times when it comes to your hair, your skin, your health, whatever it is, whatever it may be, you may prefer to just get things imported back from home. Be aware that's another cost to add clothes size, shoe size, there's other things that you might suffer with here. Just know, sizes are different. Here I feel like I'm XXXL, but back home I'm like, what, an average size? I'm like medium to small, so pff, go figure. These are all little factors that build up. There are people that come here to escape. I don't think it's a good idea to try and escape from anything. People think as soon as you, you know, travel to a new place, all your issues, all your problems have gone like magic, but that's not how it is. You, the issues are within you. You carry those issues. All you're doing is transferring it, just bringing it along with you. And it's like, the problems are still here and I could have like handled it before. And now it's like 10 times harder to live because I'm trying to solve this and this and this and this when it could have just been this, this and this, you know? Do you know what I'm saying? I'm not judging and saying that you can't go and try and explore and find yourself. I think that you should always start inwards before you go and travel out because it's a lot harder when you haven't got that support. Loneliness, a lot of people here get lonely. I've been through it and I've had a lot of friends that go through it too. If you are a family person or very close to your friends or people that you love back home, it's gonna be difficult for you because you know, you're, you're used to being lifted up and always having that constant support there. It's a lot different when someone's not in your area, in your atmosphere, you know, even the energy of someone, they don't have to say anything, but just having them there knowing that they love you, it's completely different feeling. My advice would be to build a community. I think this is one of the reasons why I enjoy showing my vlogs and talking to you guys. I want people to feel like you aren't alone and it's so true. There are other people that are going through these kind of experiences. You may be really super shy and awkward. I'm awkward too, believe it or not. I know I put myself on here, but I am awkward too. But I just think um, having the courage to build a community, reach out to people, connect with people, it really helps. And people that are accessible. I know it sounds really obvious, but I guess people don't really think about how much it affects you. Yes, it may be a culture shock, but um, it will be up to you on how you receive this, how you take it in, how you flip it on its head. That's why everybody has different experiences here. Sometimes it might not meet what you want in life and it's good to try and find out, but long term, like you really need to sit down at some point and think like, can I be here forever? Do I wanna be here forever? What are the pros and cons? What What is it that like, keeps me staying here. For me, um, I think it's a creative outlet for me. Here, I just feel like I'm always excited and um, energized by my atmosphere. Some people might be disappointed in the end, like, God, it's nothing like I thought it would be. It's kind of boring. Not everything is crazy here. You know, there are real normal people that just run the everyday life and that's it. Back to the culture shock, something that you might witness. I feel like I'm, I've come from a country that has a lot more freedom, not the most, 
but a lot more compared to here. Sometimes when it comes to personalities, I do feel quite sorry for people. I think I say the things that people wish they could say. I have the energy of openness. So everybody that I meet that has been Japanese have opened and like latched onto me pretty quick because um, it's a very kind of suppressed country here. People don't really say what they feel. Um, a very polite country. So I feel like when they interact with people who are foreigners, it's like their chance to really like express. I know that people are used to their own culture the same way I'm used to mine. Oh, something that I've been watching recently is Queer Eye. Them coming here from America all loud, crazy, fabulous, like coming to help these people. And most of them are so shy and reserved and quiet. And you can really see the culture contrast. I love it. And they kind of have to teach them how to build up like self-esteem and like express themselves in some kind of way and love yourself. So um, I recommend to both sides of the coin, foreigners and Japanese people to watch it. I think it's a truly beautiful thing to watch. And um, I think I've said enough. I think I've said enough. And if you think that I've missed anything out, please add to this conversation down below. I hope I didn't stress you guys out. I'm not trying to like scare you or anything. I'm really not trying to put you off. I want people to come here. More foreigners to experience it too, to spread the word, because I love Japan and I want people to know how fun this place is. Just protect yourselves and know what it's really about instead of having this clouded like fantasy. Because I know there's weeaboos out there there who are like oh, I'm gonna go to anime stores and get manga all the time and dress up in cosplay and how are you gonna fund yourself bitch you can't buy that cute little Harajuku dress because you know you've got to work okay to buy the dress because it's expensive I feel like I fed you fed my little baby chicky he was go fly so baby so thank you so much for watching um follow me on my instagram if you haven't already done so um i post nice little pictures now and again there and a lot of daily stories of me doing daftness click the bell because that will keep you notified when i post new content of all kinds even if it's in the community section where i talk some nonsense or ask you polls and questions keep an eye out you already know i got problems with dating anyway so <laughs> <laughs> Check out those videos if you enjoy a little bit of drama, a little bit of randomness, a little bit of cringe moments. But more than anything, subscribe because I want my community to grow and I want us to really support and help each other and just enjoy what Japan has to offer and what life has to offer in general. I love it. So um, until next time, guys, fight up, gambate, peace and love. Bye.